Microsoft is killing off its most popular operating system. 65% of devices are still on Windows 10, but they're ending support for it in 2025. If you're one of those people, your options are ride it out with all the security risks or upgrade. The problem is they're not letting everyone upgrade. Why doesn't everyone just update to Windows 11? Windows 11, they set these high hardware standards and they're not letting a lot of computers upgrade. So, you know, Microsoft's answer is, well, it's time to buy new PCs, but the machines are working fine. People want to keep using them. We can't keep dumping machines that work perfectly well every couple of years. I'm using Windows 11 on my Windows computers. I like it, but the complaints are valid. Number one, the telemetry. It sends information back to Microsoft. It's supposed to be stats to improve your experience. Number two, Microsoft put ads in the start menu. You can turn them off, but you have to go find the settings and turn it off. Number three is that Microsoft works really hard to force you to make a Microsoft.com account instead of just an account on your computer. They really, really want you to use OneDrive and cloud storage. And that's why they're forcing it. Then number four, which is probably least important, but oddest is that they broke the start button. Are there any security or privacy issues other than the telemetry with Windows 11? So I think Microsoft is in fact working hard to make Windows 11 safer, mm -hmm. make sure that other people besides them aren't spying on you. Although of course their track record is so far from perfect. I mean, it was just this year they had that recall disaster where they were playing with adding to Windows 11 that it was saving screenshots and every bit of text you ever saw on your computer, including passwords and things, into an unencrypted file in your home directory that any app running as you could pull all the text out and send it anywhere. A complete privacy and security disaster. They finally took it down, they're rethinking it. What I heard, they didn't They didn't take it down, they just made it opt in. It was gonna be opt out before. <laughs> what Apple does is a little different, right? So they're doing operating system releases every year and they support every Mac they have made for usually the last seven years. I know lots of people will put it off for a year or two. I feel like 80% of people are no more than one version behind on Mac OS. For Microsoft, of course, a little different because they're not the ones actually selling these PCs. So they don't really have that ability to draw a strict line of we support everything made in the last seven years the way Apple does. Why do they even retire the OS? It actually does cost Microsoft real money to support an older operating system. Here at Speedify, I mean, we're a smaller company. We're only about 30 people. And we still have one full-time developer at any given time just deal dealing with other company software updates that we have to handle. A new version of Ubuntu, a new version of Windows, new rules in the App Store. So we support releases for two years. And that makes sure that everybody is you know, staying at least close to up to date. Hot damn, that was a good video. Subscribe so you get to see the next one too.